Hey guys, welcome to Fear and Wine. We're back with our Let's Play of Alan Wake 2. This is part 21. Uh, when we last left off, we were... Oh my god, what the fuck? Thank you. When we last left off, we had just gotten to the cinema after getting some hints from Thomas Zane that this is where we'd be... Uh, we need to go to find the next murder scene. Um, got a little stuck, and but now we're moving. Go ahead and change this to uh, Cult of the Word. stage to get the next echo. He was a mythic auteur in the art house cinema, a rising star coming to America from Finland. But he only created one film, Tom the Poet, before he went missing, mirroring the vanishing of the main character in the movie, played by himself. The biggest mystery was around his lost film and early work made in Finland. Nightless Night, rumored to have mystic properties. Some claimed it was a snuff film, that the ritual murder in the film was an actual murder. There were no known surviving copies, but the cult chased it as if it were their unholy grail, just like Wake's books were. finest here. Oh. What? There we go. The scene here had changed. Stains. The cops had gotten their 15 minutes of fame with the cult. 
And it had been a scream. They were the murder victims. I had to find a way into the projection booth somehow. Okay. It was locked from the other side. Maybe uh, using the light. Change it back to Cult of the Word. No, it's blocked now. Oh, shit. Hold on. It's you following your master into La La Land. A sad bunch of clowns in funny masks and hoods pretending to be a secret society. Maybe it is you who's playing a role, Mr. Casey. A role carefully laid out for you. A puppet blindly performing the ritual steps for the glory of the cult. Huh? What the fuck have you been smoking? Nightless night. A clip of the lost film survived. You will see, Mr. Casey. In the nightless night, you will finally see. Nightless night was Zane's film. It played a role in this story. Okay, let's uh, change it up. Out of the screen and revealed the door. I was back out into the night. The seedy alley away from prying eyes was a good scene for dark deeds. spot sure was all right Now we're full up again. All right. So let's do um, Cult of the Word, I guess. Someone had fallen to their death from the rooftop. something will open this door. Uh, New York's finest. The police car felt important to the story. Um... Oh, okay. I think they're gonna 
want us to, like, cut off a finger or something for this initiation, do you? Nah. I'm sure we'll just chant some ceremonial stuff. N nothing to it. Well, it's about time. We paid our dues. Made plenty of their problems disappear. Dumped all those nobodies down that chute. What we did or didn't do, it's all behind us now. We're going straight to the top, partner. Yep, like we died and went to heaven. Uh, they're just such bumbling fucking idiots. <laughs> um, okay, well. What's that looking at? Get this door open. I yeah, it's a moving truck. Oh, I see. Alright. Straight to the top. The dirty cops look down the city. Their city. They had committed repulsive deeds to get there. They told themselves it was worth it. Wait, hold on. I think now I need to put a uh, call to word. Save. Alright, I think that's about it. Casey, I'm all yours. Go ahead. 
Ask that burning question in your mind. How did you do it? How did you get me into that film clip without my remembering it? Talk to me, damn it! You've seen the film? Good, good. Now you're ready to meet the Grand Master. He's waiting for you in the projection booth where everything will be revealed. Where he will project a new reality onto this one. And now, Mr. Casey, I've played my part to the end. No, no, no! Crazy bastard! Why did he jump? The projection booth. Was that where I find the murder site? So now we can... Let's see if we can... Uh... It's very dark out here. What is in there? How the fuck do I get in there? Let's see, maybe they'll tell us how to reach the show. Because I don't want to miss any of his parts, so. Oh my god. Come on. What the hell? Hold on. batteries. Let's not do that.
Ooh. Man, they were coming out in force, man. They weren't fucking around. They were straight up like, let's kill this bitch. And I said nay. Oh, huh. this one no mark all nearby resources point or interest expense oh yes let's do that magic pocket so now we can take that extra one how do we get in the sheriff breakers room I don't even know what the fuck I'm supposed to be going. Man, I guess we're just not gonna get that Sea Sheriff Breaker this time, which kind of fucking sucks. Kind of blows my ass. Do we open that door? I wonder, does it have to do with the, um... I wonder if it has to do with this. Uh. Yeah. yeah My writing was affecting reality. I mean, we're running out of time just trying to talk to Sheriff Breaker, but I just like to talk to him every time. I don't know why the game's so against that. On the side. Let's see. Um, let's just put... How to open door to Sheriff Breaker. On cinema roof. I guess that's it. Right? Oh, it looks like it's a secret path, so. Oh my god, it's running me through the whole thing. It doesn't matter. We'll get to him later or we won't. It, it is what it is. I'm not going to waste any more time on this. We're already at 25 minutes. I pretty much have to end it the next time I see a fucking save room. All that just to see Sheriff Breaker. I 
right, we gotta get back in the cinema, do the, uh, do the damn thing. Fucking air, are you kidding me? Holy shit! Man, they were not fucking around, dude. Straight up. Alright, anyway, let's get back in this fucking cinema. Can I? Okay, I can't go up that way. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess this. Oh, that door's open now. Okay. Cool. So that's why we couldn't get to the store. We didn't need to yet. Oh, this is that door. There you go. So. Shut up. Lobby, the Grand Master. Take that light back, by the way, and turn this into the Grandmaster. This was dark, but the story had to be dark. Follow him into the door. I found myself in a maze of film equipment. There had to be a way to the projection booth from here. I wasn't right. alone. I'm here, you son of a bitch. Show yourself. Grand mask in my hands. You're a clown in a mask. I was back where I started. A loop within a loop. I had to keep going. Of course it's a loop. I'm here, you son of a bitch. Show yourself. Who was it? Who said that? The grand mask in my hands. You're a clown in a mask. I'm not the one wearing a mask here, you moron. The Casey in the story was losing it. I wasn't far behind. I don't know, after all the shit he's seen, I don't blame him for losing it. He's probably beyond paranoid. Oh shit. Okay. 
sudden, I was back at the beginning again. I had to keep going, find a way to the murder site. how initiation was written okay cool um how do i get out of here though <laughs> question is how do i get out of oh, okay there we go i was back at the beginning again i had to keep going find a way to the murder okay. site Son of a bitch. Show Sacrifice to open the way. No, <laughs> don't do it. You don't have to become a monster. Just leave the knife where it is. Oh no! Oh no, you don't. You'll be sorry. What the fuck? What the hell is going on? <laughs> You don't have to get that knife. It's like, well, I wasn't even going to until you brought it up and told me it was a way forward, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, it's showing the... the... Oh, okay, we're about to meld into uh, Saga Store now. Because that's the uh, coffee land. That's where we last close. left her. That's where we last left her. Done well. You played your role perfectly. Everything out of your mouth is a damn lie. The only place any of this makes any sense is in your psychotic brain. As a fictional character in a story, you fulfilled your purpose. You brought the writer of the story here. You can go now, Casey. No, no, no. I'm not going anywhere before I get some answers. How was I in that movie? How, why does all this feel so familiar? What? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck am I? No! And welcome to you, Alan Wake. What the hell? This is the ritual to lead you on. You're just one step away from your final destination, Mr. Wake. But first, here's an unanswered mystery. If Casey was fictional, and you assumed his role as a detective, are you now fictional too? Whose story are you living, Mr. Wake? 
The visions were coming <coughs> under my skin, coming too close for comfort. Not a separate layer, but mingling with my own reality in the dark place. What the fuck? Wait. Dead end. This can't be right. Did I miss something? It's like a Max Payne nightmare. There's Coffee Land. A murder site. Oh shit. The mask was the key. Oh fuck. I killed the shit out of y'all, bro. Yeah, I got a hook in his ear. Yeah, this is the... Saga Anderson, listen. I, I've been tricked. Scratch wrote returned. I, I tried to fix the story, but he stopped me before I reached the end. He has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean, escape? I mean, with Scratch. I need to stop him. I need to stop him before he gets out. He's after Alice. I'm still trapped, but I'm making progress. I wrote you in to be the story's hero. Scratch made a horror story. I need to match the genre. It has to be dark, but the hero can break through, save her family, save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes. Whatever you're doing, it's working. You just need to keep going. Did we in the horror story? I was closer now. Closer than ever before. But there was no time to lose. Everything was hanging in the balance. I could still lose it all. Parliament Tower. I had to make it work this time. I could stop Scratch, get the manuscript, fix its ending. That was, this was a long fucking part that I've done. Alright, we just need a safe spot. That's it. I was traveling deeper into the dark place. The poem on the wall was growing at the same pace, dogging my footsteps. Like my unwanted shadow moving in the corner of my eye. It wasn't my writing. I didn't know what it was. A terrible prophecy. A curse looming over me. A pale balloon in the sky, float and sink deeper. Night springs when bright falls for the sleeper. The surface disturbed, the reflection now a traitor, and the cavity of the skull turned to a crater. This is a ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. Hmm. Well played, I guess. Right, give me a save spot. is the janitor Thomas Anish writer Alan Lake I just want out of here
All right, guys. So actually, we're going to just go ahead and end it here. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's going to save me around here somewhere. I hope you guys are enjoying this. That's the end of part 21. We'll be back with part 22 soon. Might even make a part where we just sit and watch this whole movie. But uh, until next time, guys. Peace.